Hey y'all, I'm Joe coming at you here at Southern Coast of Cooking this Sunday afternoon. We got a surprise for you guys and gals. We're going to do some potato volcanoes today, alright? Uh, y'all just focus right down here. First off, you want to get you three nice sized potatoes. Unfortunately, see I would have rather had ones that are fatter, you know, bigger around. But man, slip, the pickles are slim at the Kroger's today, so... I had to get you some oddballs. But anyway, these are the ones that are wrapped up already washed. I do like that. I'm gonna poke a few holes in them because the first step of this is to bake your potatoes. Now, one could do this in the microwave. You could do it on the grill. You could do it however you want to. My deal is, for simplicity, I've got a convection oven and it's awesome at baking potatoes. So I'm gonna bake the potatoes because that's, you know, I'm getting flavor really just baking the potatoes on the grill. I mean, my little bit, but we're gonna bake them for a while afterwards anyway. So, all right, then first thing I'm gonna do is get some holes. Then I'm gonna put some duck fat, some straight duck fat on these potatoes, okay? If you don't have duck fat, uh, no, I'm just kidding. You, you can use whatever your favorite, you know, spray oil is, something like that. But so we'll get a little oil on the potatoes, all right? Put that on that skin, helps that skin to kind of crisp up a little bit. Gives it some flavor, and one of the main things it helps the rub or the, the seasoning to stick. Now, get your favorite SPG type seasoning. This is a uh, it's incredible rub. I have made products absolutely outstanding, and I'm just going to season these potatoes. I've got my oven on 400 degrees. I'm going to pop them in the oven for about 45 minutes first, y'all. Get these things baked off, okay? And uh, once we do that. We'll come to the next step, but that's what we're doing right there. Get those baked off in the oven. I'll come back to you guys. So our first, first order of business out here at the Hunsaker, I got it running about 250 or so. We're going to uh, get some good smoky wood on that. I got these smoky wood barbecues and chunks, all right? Uh, got some two inch pecan chunks. We'll gonna put a couple of these chunks. On the Hunsaker here, all right. I always say that let it come up to temp, you know, before I put the chunks on these. Get a little basket down here. Hopefully, y'all come over here and see what's going on. And uh, separate that with this. Just open that up right there. Oh, shoot, gonna drop a chunk. A couple of chunks. And we'll close that back up so my hand stops burning because I. Held that thing for too long, let's switch hands. Come on, get down in there. There it goes. All right. We'll go ahead and get that going. And we'll get them taters on there just in a little bit. Y'all, the potatoes are done baking. I let them sit and cool just for a minute. And we'll show y'all how our next step. Basically, what we want to do is we want to take our potato, or we'll cut the ends off of it, and we're going to eventually get what I call like a potato cup made out of it. Look at that right there. Scoop out the middle. All right. So let me show y'all. Get down here. You want to kind of make sure your potatoes are about the same size. If you're doing multiple ones, I'm just for presentation purposes. Move this out of the way real quick. So I like to put them kind of up next to each other. Figure out what's going to be the bottom, what's going to be the top. All right, something like that. Let's do this other one here. Okay. All right. So roughly, I don't need to cut much off of this one. Set this over here. Basically take that little bottom off right there. Okay. See how it sits up on that side. Just take this little top. Okay. Now, there we go. Sit up next to the other cup that's made about the same height. That looks good. All right, we'll take this, put it in the bowl, make some great mashed potatoes out of all that later. I'm zooming y'all in just a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing now. All right, so now you've got to need one of these melon ballers. You know, got one, ask some elderly person or some people that make melon balls. But All right, so you take this, I'll take the smaller end and just scoop right down there in the middle. Starts pretty dang easy. Get your bowl. All right. 
Now, with this being said, be careful you don't want to bust through the sides. I suggest kind of turning the potato as you do it. That'll keep you kind of even on both sides. We're taking, honestly, most of the, uh, the inside out. My buddy Abe Morris, who's made these smack delicious, was telling me basically what you're making is a two-sided potato skin with this. I mean, so take a lot of that middle out. Just keep on going down if y'all can see what I'm doing here. Uh, make sure you know you don't go down too far and go through the bottom. But that's the idea. Just want to scoop all this out. Pour in your room for the yummy filling. Okay. We'll get that filling here in a minute. But you could probably, I think you could probably do this the day before if you wanted to. Put these in the refrigerator, you know. And then do the rest of the steps. If you're making a lot of them or something, you know. Hmm. But let's see. Yep, I'm gonna get overzealous. So you get in a hurry, you'll bust through one of them sides. I know it's making a lot of noise, but that's what you gotta do. Push that stuff out of here. It's the perfect little tool for this. I mean, you could use a little knife or something, I guess, but. This really works well. So move it down here. Put all we need on this one. So that's a nice little potato cup right there. Now we'll get to the stuffing here in a second. So let's make the stuffing for these potatoes. You gotta buy a little pack and a half of cream cheese, okay? You know, however the cream cheese normally comes. Then we'll add a little bit of hot sauce to this. All right, we'll be good right there. Some regular cheddar cheese. I've got like a cheddar Montreal, Montreal cheddar Jack, you know, just blend. That's just kind of what we had around the house. Put some of that in there. Then, uh, and you don't have to, but you know, some kind of meat or something. I've got some turkey we had in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put a little bit of a little turkey in there, just kind of lunch meat, but ham. You can put some bacon, but we can put bacon on the outside, so I don't think we really need that. So we we'll put this turkey over in there. Got some seasoning. I'm gonna use my heavy made products again. It's an incredible, it's a great seasoning. And I give it some flavor. All right, then we just want the best way I think is just get this stuff mashed up. You want to try to make your make sure your cream cheese is about room temperature. I've had it sitting out for an hour or so. Just want to mash all this up, get everything incorporated here. And this is what we will stuff those potatoes with here shortly, y'all. Now, our next step is we'll get them wrapped in bacon. Oh, yeah. How's that sound? Okay. All right, be right back. All right, y'all. So now we're going to wrap it with bacon. It's best if you can find some thin cut bacon, but unfortunately, I couldn't find any, so we're going to wrap these in some bacon. You know what? I say that, but now looking at it, the way I got to wrap these, I think it'd be best if we go ahead and stuff them first. So let's get our stuffing over here. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit so you can see. All right, what we'll do is where's that melon ball at? I got melon ball back. We get some stuff in it. Just put this stuffing down in there. Push it all the way down the bottom. There's a reason I'm gonna wrap it with bacon and then try to stuff because I'm gonna be sticking toothpicks through here to hold the bacon on. You wouldn't be able to get your stuffing down in there. Scoop in this one. I'm gonna push it on down in there. Alright. And we'll take the bacon, 
and I've already started there. Put a uh, toothpick right through the starting point, around a little bit, and we'll go right around the top. Definitely want to coat this bad boy in the bacon. I want to get you some good quality bacon too, you know. And then I'm going to hook that right there on the toothpick again. Going right back around the next ring. Looks like it might take two strips per potato. Right? Might be one half strips. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to take that right on to here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to turn the camera and do this. Need all that hanging off. Oh, I don't want that hunk oh, of fat right there. Cut that off there. Alright. Go on around with this. Alright. Give me a toothpick in here. All right, that's pretty good. I got almost all the way on this one, but that's basically what you're looking for right there. And I think this one's pretty much ready for the cooker. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do one other thing too. I'm gonna put some rub on there at the end, but I'll come back to you on that. I'll well, see how they are. Now we're gonna get a little barbecue rub on them. I'm gonna use this Sweet Money uh, Big Papa Smokers right there. And that'd be a great little rub for this. And we'll just kind of just shake it down. Get it on good, get a light coating. And then y'all will get these out in the smoker. Been out there heating up. I've got some other stuff going on as well in the Hunsaker. I think that'd be the best for this. Oh yeah, get that nice. Can't even go in there. All right. And we'll get them out in the smoker here in just a minute. Man, that's gonna be good right there. Mm -mm. So we're out here at the Hunsaker. We're on about 250. Let's get them loaded up. I got some other stuff on there as you can see. You know, might as well load the pit up when you when you're doing something. So we're gonna put them right about in there. Go ahead and get these bad boys on. Isn't that pretty? Not sure how long they'll take, maybe about 45 minutes, something like that. I'm thinking. Could be a little bit more. But we'll see. Put them in there, just need to cook that bacon and get that other stuff nice and juicy. There we go. So they have been on for about 45 minutes now. I'm about to give them a little glaze, okay? I'll show you, I've got a little bit of barbecue sauce, about a tablespoon, mixed with some honey, a tiny bit of apple juice, and some butter. It's a sweet glaze. That's what you want to give these things. Let me show you. I'm going to pick it up and just, uh, I can see just glaze right down the sides. So we just got to get that bacon cooked. And while we're doing that, I'm going to put this glaze on there. That'll help it darken up a little bit. Let the sugars crystallize on there. That's going to be really, really nice. But I'm going to get this all glazed up and get them back in here. All right. Mm -hmm. So they've been on here about another 15 minutes or so. I'm about getting ready to pull them. Oh, yes, aren't those gorgeous? Oh, look at that. Is that not nice? Those three beauties right there. I'll make sure my bacon mm, is done. And, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one more thing on them, and uh, we'll be ready to pull them in about five minutes. I'm going to do one last touch to these potatoes before we take them in. Let me show you all. Get over here and look. Hopefully y'all can see. Right down there, I've got some just regular old craft American, you know, just old imitation, you know, craft stuff. We're going to put that right on top of those. Let's just go a few minutes. I'm going to pour it. I don't want that toothpick to be there while I do that, but go ahead and just put those little pieces. This is one slice of cheese just folded up. 
I'm gonna put that right there and let that go about five more minutes. Before we get them off the grill, then we're gonna make the lava sauce that goes on top, okay? Makes that lava on the volcano. I've got about a, probably a cup and a half of sour cream there. I'm gonna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I'm using up this up. Let's see, heavy made products here, a little spicier one. Blazing Cajun, a little bit of that in there. All right. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of old Heath Riles, sweet barbecue. A little bit of it. With that, okay. And then I'm gonna put some sriracha sauce. I don't know about this. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that. Tablespoon, so, all right. Now we'll mix all this up. See what it looks like. And by the way, let your sour cream sit out for a few minutes. As you put on there, it's too cold, it won't do what it needs to do, it won't flood. Alright, so let's just stir that up. That looking good. Alright. Add me a touch more sriracha. A touch more barbecue. Just want to get that consistency down. I don't want it to be too thick, right? Alright, so this is going to be the sauce. Goes over the top of it. Alright, we're about to go get them off the grill, bring them in here, we'll finish them off. Alright, y'all, so let's create these things of beauty. Got them stacked here on my slate plate. Go ahead and just give them a little scoop of lava on top of each one. All right, again that residual heat should just let that that melt right there and it'll melt right down. Just give it just a minute or two. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Let that lava flow start here just for a second. Get a little bit more on this one. And believe me, you. These things are hot. All right. And as that lava starts to flow, I want to put a little bit of a green onion on top. Great little garnish for this. All right, on each one of them. And these things are just as much about presentation as they are about flavor and taste. I mean, they're awesome. Look at that lava flowing off of them, y'all. That's awesome. Go and just cap them up, you know, with the green onions. Beautiful, that helps the lava to flow. I'm gonna take a couple picks and we'll taste them. All right, y'all, that's great. Now all we need to do is cut into one of these bad boys. Get my knife here. We will give this a try. Oh my goodness, how much one do we want to try? How about we try this one over here, right there on the end? Can y'all see that? Let me zoom y'all in here so. I can see what we're doing. We're gonna cut a cross section of this up right through here. Mm. This knife goes right down through it. Let's take a look. Oh wow! Look at that. Is that not magnificent? Full of that cream cheese and everything else. Whoa. That is something else, y'all. <laughs> wow. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Yeah. We're going to give this a try. Let me get it on a plate. Well, y'all, we'll give this a try here. Let's see. I'm going to get a bite with everything bacon, a potato, a bottle of lava. Good stuff. Let's just go ahead and try this. Man, looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my word. Hmm. That's pretty amazing, y'all. Look at that bar. Bacon. Potato, lava sauce. I tell you what, these things, you can easily sell these in a restaurant for $10 a piece, and that is wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. 
That is beautiful. Anyway, I'll be doing more of these, uh, mixing in some different ingredients and everything like that. Y'all give them a try, let them know what you think. Please uh, like my videos, sub my channel. God bless, and y'all have a good one. And it's good.